How to create a macOS Monterey USB installer disk. Thanks for watching 9to5Mac. Be sure to thumbs up, click the subscribe button, and then enable notifications with the bell icon so you won't miss any upcoming videos. First, download the macOS Monterey installer from the Mac App Store. Once the Mac App Store is open, just search for Monterey in the search bar. And then once you find the macOS Monterey installer, which is right here, click it to open, and then just click Get to download. That will open up Software Update in System Preferences, and then you can click Download on the prompt. Now, depending on your internet connection speed, this could take a while, so you have to be patient, but I'm gonna speed it up here for brevity's sake. And once the installer has completed downloading, you'll see the installer open, prompting you to install macOS Monterey. But we don't want to install macOS Monterey, we wanna create a boot disk. So you wanna close out by going up to the menu bar, selecting install macOS Monterey, select quit install macOS, and then select quit. That'll close the installer and then you can close software update. Next, connect your USB drive. In this case, I'm using the SanDisk portable SSD. This is a little bit overkill because it's one terabyte of storage, but in my case, I didn't have any spare drive, so I'm just using this one. So you wanna open up the finder and then select your drive and then make sure there's nothing on the drive that you need because this is gonna purge everything on the drive. You simply need a drive that has at least 16 gigabytes of storage. Next, format the drive using Disk Utility. So I'm gonna open up Launchpad, go to my other folder, and then select Disk Utility. And once that loads up, you wanna select your external drive. Now you'll notice my drive is formatted as APFS, which is not compatible with the macOS Monterey Create Install Media Tool. So this is important. You need to go ahead and select Erase, and then select macOS Extended Journaled, and then click Erase. So this is a format that is compatible with the create installer that we're gonna to use to create our boot disk. All right, once that's completed, go ahead and click the done button and we're finished with disk utility. So you can go ahead and close that out. Next, we wanna locate the create install media executable file. So open up the finder, go to applications, find install macOS Monterey that you downloaded in the first step and right click on it and select show package contents. Then double click on contents, double click on resources, and then find create install media. Now make sure it's not create install media Yosemite or the create install media dynamic library. You want this one right here. So we'll set this finder window to the side for now and go to our next step. So the next step is opening the terminal and creating the boot disk. Go back to our other folder, open up terminal, and there we go. So now in the terminal window, you wanna type sudo, S-U-D-O, space, and then drag the create install media file from the finder over to the terminal and drop it like that. And that'll put the path of the create install media executable right in the terminal. So you don't have to type it manually. Next up, you wanna type in dash, dash, volume, space. All right, now let's open up finder again in order to navigate to volumes to find the USB drive. So open Finder and with Finder open, go up to the menu bar, select Go, select Go to Folder, and then you wanna go to slash volumes, just like that. And you should see your USB drive. In this case, mine is titled Untitled 2. So just drag that over to the terminal window, close out of Finder, and now we're ready. So just press the return key to execute Create Install Media and then type in your administrator password. And when prompted, type Y and then press return. So the first thing that happens when you do this is your disk will be erased. That's why it was so important to make sure there was nothing important on your drive. So this will take a little while. I've sped it up a little bit. Next is gonna make the disk bootable. That's why we format it as macOS extended journaled. And once bootable, it'll copy all the information over to the USB drive. And again, this will take a while. I've sped it up for brevity. All right, so once you see this message, we're good to go. So now you can close out of terminal. You can open up the finder, select the drive. You'll see the macOS Monterey installer. And now we can simply eject the drive. And once ejected, you can simply remove the drive from your Mac and store it for future usage.
So this drive is handy because it means you can reinstall macOS without having to re-download macOS. So if you need to quickly reinstall, you can do so. So let me just walk you through briefly how to use this drive. First, connect it to your Mac. And if you're on a Mac with Apple Silicon, all you do is shut down your Mac and then press and hold the power button. On an Intel Mac, you would hold the option key while restarting until you see the boot selector. But here on an M1 enabled Mac or an M1 Pro or M1 Max enabled Mac, you simply hold the power button and you wanna continue holding it even after you see the Apple logo. You can see it says continue holding for startup options. And then once you see this right here, loading startup options, you can release the power button and it will continue to boot up and then it will present you with the ability to start up using your boot disk to reinstall macOS Monterey. So you do have to be a little bit patient here because this will take a little bit of time. Eventually you'll see options and then you'll see the loading indicator below that. And again, you just have to be a little bit patient eventually you will see the install macOS Monterey option. So um, yeah, anytime now, <laughs> there you go. Install macOS Monterey, you can see it right there. And all you do is select that option. If you already have an installation on your Mac, it'll load up macOS recovery and ask you to verify with your administrator password before allowing you to continue with the installation. So in that case, you can see it right here. All right, so all you would do is just select your user, go ahead and click on next, type in your administrator password, click continue, and then here we go. It's gonna load up the macOS Monterey installer. You can click continue. And in just a second, you can agree. and then agree again. And once you do that, it's gonna allow you to select the destination of the installation. So that's it. That's how you create a macOS Monterey install drive. Hope this was able to help you out. Let me know if you have any questions or comments down below. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.